Hey, I just want to come on and tell y'all something. This is Apostle Russell Solomon, Russell Solomon's YouTube channel. Good morning and God bless. <laughs> I was talking to uh, Father Yahweh the other day, and I was noticing the comparison to the viruses in the day of Farrah. Like, they got boils. Um, That was one of the viruses, so that's monkey pot. They even got something that was sort of like the COV-19. And they even got something that's like the polio that uh that's going around in new york like 20 people got this polio stuff so i'm like god what is going on you said three chances they had and they and and the cov was the third he said yes but i didn't i didn't tell you how much was going to be in the third so then i asked him i said okay we had cov now monkeypox now this polio stuff and every time you turn around they're saying you got to go get a you know what juice in your arm right so i said god is it finished he said, nope, there's a fourth one coming. There's a fourth virus they're going to come out with, and that one's not going to work neither. So basically, the, the, the monkey pox and this polio and stuff is not going to be nowhere near like the COV. And this next one that's coming out, it's not going to be like the COV. I mean, although it may spread and stuff, but it's not going to be like the COV. And um, the Lord said, this is just part of the end time plan that, the enemy is planning. So you just have to stay in prayer and ask him to cover your body and skin and breath with the blood of Jesus. Because you can't, I mean, with most cars, you can touch touch a car. And, and if it's there, it's there. So, you know, and, and it's like it's making people not even want to touch each other, not even want to be near each other. Now they're saying with this polio, it's in the air. So here we go with the mask again, right? So um, just prepare yourselves, you know, and just pray. Ask God to cover your blood. Your skin, your blood, and your breath, your clothes, your shoes, <laughs> your hair, everything about you. Just ask God to cover it with the blood and protect you from catching any of these viruses. And he will do it. You know, you got to be living right, though. You got to be repenting. You got to be living in the right standing of God to the best of your ability. Because if not, it can be open doors, you know. And if you have fear, that's definitely open door. So don't fear anything. Psalm 91 says, do not fear. I am with you. The angels lift your hands up to keep your feet from hitting the, 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 the you know, the ground. And that's this, this very highly important part of the scripture. Basically, he's telling you, ask me, say this with me. Father, name your Jesus, my angels, my guardian angels that watch over me. Let them carry me and lift me as I walk or lift me as I drive. So nothing can affect me or touch me. In Yeshua's name, Shalom.